Hi, thanks for watching my video and welcome back to another episode of The Sims Busting Out as part of our Retro Sunday series. So I left off the last episode kind of frustrated because I could not for the life of me figure out how to marry Ziggy. And I still don't really know, um, but I think perhaps it might have something to do with the fact that she technically has a romantic relationship with Malcolm Landgrab. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just invite over Malcolm and make it so that they're not in love anymore. Oh, hang on though, their relationship should have deteriorated enough by now. I'll check and see if they're still in love. And if they're not, hopefully we can get engaged to Ziggy and invite him over. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so her relationship with Malcolm is still like in love. So we need to call Malcolm if I even can. Hmm, maybe I need to throw a party. Okay, fuck it. I'm just going to throw a party then. Might give me a chance to rebuild some relationships too, so... Let's just throw a party. Hopefully Malcolm turns up and I can let him know that we're just friends. And then I can make my moves on Ziggy. And hopefully right this wrong. The mansion party has started. Alright. Oh, is that Malcolm over there? No, just a guy in a lab coat. Here's Ziggy though. Where's old man land grab? Guys, come on in, help yourselves. This is not gonna be one of those raging parties. Oh, Malcolm hasn't even turned up. Damn. I mean, even when I click on Ziggy, there's still no option to do anything sexy. Maybe I should just take care of Courtney's needs, let the party play out, and then, and then tomorrow we'll invite Ziggy over after work and have like a nice cozy night in. You know, maybe that's, Maybe that's what I need to do. Let's get some shut eye caught. Someone is really going to town on my synthesizer, Vaughn. Going for it. Well, I guess we'll have some food and maybe we'll play some th synthesizer. And if we get the chance, we will have a bath. And she could do with some social interaction as well. But you know what? I'm not too worried about that because we can figure that out when we get back from work with Ziggy. All right, Courtney, you've got just enough time to use the bathroom before your bus gets here. So get a scoot on, girl. Oh, she just gained another creativity skill. Oh, good for you, Courtney, good for you. Courtney, let's go, the bus is waiting. Hurry the fuck up. Okay, bye, have a good day. Let's see, what could I do romantic for Ziggy? I could maybe cook him dinner, even though I only have one cooking skill. <laughs> but you know, it's the thought that counts, isn't it? I just, I feel like I'm sure this has got something to do with the relationship with Malcolm. And I just don't know how I can, like, end it with him. Okay, she's home and she's very tired. And she stinks. So, not ideal. But maybe we'll just take a tactical power nap. And then we'll invite Zig over. Kind of annoying, because I feel like I can't really do anything in the evenings because she's always so exhausted from work. I mean, maybe if I get her to sleep until, like, I don't know, 10 maybe? then she'll be at least energetic enough to entertain Ziggy. Or maybe I'll just invite him over in the morning. I mean, we'll take the day off tomorrow anyway. So yeah, maybe I'll do that instead, actually. We'll invite him over for breakfast. He'll like that. Okay, it's like 7 a.m. I'm just gonna quickly call Mimi and chat to her on the phone and then I will invite Ziggy over. We'll just talk to Mimi and we'll invite Ziggy Okay, he's coming over. Great success, great success. So while I wait for Ziggy, I am going to call Mona and just have a chat with her. Because our relationship with Mona's kind of gone down the pan a little bit. So we can maybe put a bit of work in there. You know, maybe I haven't been putting in as much effort as I should with her. And I, I appreciate that. I get that. Hold my hands up. Right, where is Ziggy? No, you're not going to work today, Courtney. You have the day off today. Oh, is that, is that my man? There he is. Let's go greet Ziggy. And then maybe we'll serve some food. Show him that even though we are romantically involved with this guy called Malcolm and we do live in his house, he's nothing more to us than a paycheck. Okay. So while Ziggy is here, I am going to serve some lunch. We'll have a great time. Serve lunch at 10 a.m. Okay, so hopefully Ziggy should come and get a plate of food. Or not. Or just hang about in the pool, I guess. 
Okay, well, what about if we watch TV together? I think Ziggy's gonna get a plate of food. Yeah, he is. Okay, great. So ideally, when Ziggy finishes his food, he can come watch TV with me. Maybe they can dance together? Have a little bit of a romantic dance, maybe? Aww. Still, still no option. All right, Courtney, fuck it. Let's just go, go back to bed. I know you're tired, even though you did get a full night's sleep. I mean, what else can I do other than just wait for the relationship with Malcolm to deteriorate? But that's going to take ages. I really don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Maybe, maybe I'll buy a bookshelf. See if I can improve my cooking skills. Can't hurt, can it? We'll eat some food, use the bathroom, study some cooking, and then I guess get a bit more sleep before going to work in the morning. We'll just study a cheeky bit of cooking, and then we'll get a little bit more sleep. Okay, we got another cooking skill point, so that's something. We'll just get a couple of hours more sleep. Right, Court, your bus is here. You better get going. Yeah, yeah, bye-bye, have a good day. I'm really stumped on this marriage thing. I thought that was going to be one of the easiest parts of the game. But then, when I was playing The Sims 1 Get a Life, I thought that the retirement party would be the easiest part of the game. And I mean, it was, but I was too much of a dipshit to get it right. So, maybe the solution to this is actually very simple, and I'm just being an idiot. Who knows? One thing I will do when she gets home is I will call Bing and call Mona and just try and work on that relationship a little bit. Or maybe I'll call Bing and Fanny. We'll just talk to Fanny, and then we'll just talk to Bing. It's kind of annoying that she doesn't gain any skill from actually cooking, because she's cooked quite a lot of meals now at this point. Oh, hang on, there's Mortimer Goth. I can go and greet him. Yeah, we'll just do a couple interactions with Mortimer, just to keep him sweet, and then we'll go have some dinner. Who is that, just helping themselves to my pool? Oh, it's Mortimer. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. You were invited. That's okay. Oh dear, we haven't been paying our bills. Okay, let's call Ziggy again. <laughs> we'll invite him over again. And then we'll serve up some breakfast, I guess. Okay, so Ziggy's coming over. Great success. We'll go and serve some breakfast so there's something for both of them to eat. Oh, there he is. We will go and greet him, and then hopefully he'll like help himself to food. Greet Ziggy, and then you guys can grab a place of food. Hopefully he gets himself some food too, Zig. Yeah, I think he is. Okay, great. So we'll eat, and then we can watch some romantic TV together. And then we'll get... Oh, I have the option to kiss now. Do I have the option to propose? No, but I do have the option to kiss. That's, that's something. Go on, Courtney, give him a big old smoochy smooch. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> the music. I still can't propose, but I can kiss him again. And we can watch TV together. Come watch some romantic TV with me, Zig. You'll love it. Propose! Finally! I have the option to propose to Ziggy. Okay, let's do it. Let's get him to move in. Let's make an honest man out of this guy. Come on, Ziggy, stand up. Be where I need you to be. Oh no, she didn't do it. What's wrong? Did you, did you get shy? Propose. Fucking propose. Okay, I think she's doing it now. Yeah, she's getting down on one knee. She's popping the question. And I think he's gonna say yes. Oh, fantastic news. Oh, well, I guess I just needed, what, cooking level two is all I've learned from this. Oh. What a beautiful moment, witnessed by us all. So I guess Ziggy's moving in with us now? <laughs> that, was their, that was their wedding. Your household just gained a new member. Any friends of theirs are now friends of yours. Great. And I unlocked a brand new car. All right, Ziggy, well, what's the deal with you then? You don't really have many friends, do you? Do you have a job? No, you're unemployed. I mean, that's, that's okay. So perhaps I should just kiss him a few times until we get a baby. Can we try for a baby in the bed? Do you want to have a baby? Yes, sure, let's have a baby. Wait, 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 I want to see this. I don't want to miss. So that's that must be the baby right there then. Oh, what did we have, a boy or a girl? It's a girl. 
Well, seen as Patricia's two kids and therefore Courtney's two nieces are named after flowers. Let's stick with that trend. This one can be called Violet. Oh, they're like clapping at the baby. Right, so in that case, Courtney, you are still on a day off. What a, and what a day off it's been. God, we've achieved so much. Who needs to have a repaired relationship? I mean, Mona and Bing, definitely. And we could definitely work on our relationship with Fanny. I think, because that baby's going to start crying soon and I'd rather not be around for it. Let's trade our bike for a car and then we'll go visit Club Rub. And you know what, Ziggy? You can get the mail and pay our bills. I'm going to save where I am right now. I do not want to lose my progress here. Hey! There's our new set of wheels. Okay, you know what? I won't let Ziggy worry about the bills. I'll just get Courtney to get the mail, pay the bills, and then we'll go to Club Rub. Okay, we have quite a lot of notices here. Quite, quite a lot. Quite a lot. She's still going with the bills. So I guess we are soon going to be out of a lot of money. Oh, for fuck's sake, Ziggy. Oh, you piece of shit. Are you serious? You've just started a fucking fire. <sighs> okay, well then I'm going to cancel all that bill paying. And I guess we'll just have to call... Oh, I can't call the fire department. Well, hopefully they turn up soon. And the baby's crying, so... Tell you what, Ziggy, you walk away from the fire. You just focus on the baby. How about that? I can see there's a fireman in sight. It's going to be fine. Don't worry. I was going to go to Club Rub today, but I, it looks like you just can't be trusted, Ziggy. I can't remember how long babies stay babies for. I think it's only two days. Okay, Courtney's really not having a good time, so maybe it was a bit too ambitious to think that we could have gone to Club Rub today. Right, let's try and get this baby to sleep. I think the baby's falling asleep. Okay, good, good. So, Ziggy, man, you are going to have to learn some cooking skills because th that was a joke, what happened just there. You're going to have to get at least, like, one cooking skill. Are there still bills left unpaid? Oh, god damn it. Hey, Ziggy has a cooking skill. Well done, Ziggy. So I guess you can go and get some sleep until the baby wakes up and then you can take care of it. This is my least favourite part of the, Sim the earlier Sims games, is when they have the babies. <laughs> Although, you know, she's sleeping pretty soundly so far, so she's, she's being pretty good. Okay, baby's awake. You're going to have to take care of the baby now, Zig. Sorry about that, buddy. How's Courtney doing? She's still sleeping soundly. Calm down, baby. Stop crying. Okay, the baby stopped crying, so Ziggy, take a nap on the sofa, and then you can wake up if the baby wakes up. Okay, I think Courtney's awake. So Courtney, you can come and take a bath. You can pay these bills and then you can play some of this to have some fun. Or actually, I don't know if you'll have time because I'm going to need you to serve breakfast. Ziggy, why are you waking up? You're supposed to be trying to get more sleep. You're going to be dealing with this baby on your own today. Okay, for some reason, I guess he reckons he can handle it. Okay, the bus for Courtney will be here in an hour. I mean, she's... Her needs are fine. She could do with some more fun, but that's okay. So if the baby wakes up before Courtney's bus gets here, Courtney can just do some stuff with her until at least Ziggy's had some food. Okay, the bus is here. Have fun, Courtney! Okay, Ziggy, and then you can take another nap until Violet wakes up. And then you can deal with her. Oh, Violet's woken up. Too late. He's really not having very much fun <laughs> but that's okay that's the reality Ziggy that's life sorry about that bro did you get her to sleep yes okay then you can take a nap Ziggy and if we find time for you to do something fun then you can okay so why don't you watch a bit of TV till the baby starts crying Courtney should be home soon yeah she's home and she desperately needs to have some fun so she can have a little play on her little synthesizer She's too depressed to synthesize. All right, Courtney, we'll just come and watch TV then. Okay, Courtney, maybe you can watch the baby for a while while Ziggy works on his needs a little bit. Maybe he can get some sleep and then you can take care of the baby. 
And you guys can try and take it in shifts, maybe. All right, Ziggy, your turn to deal with the baby now. You've had some sleep, at least. Well, the baby's been alive for, like, what, a day now? So hopefully she'll age up soon. I can't remember if it's two days or three days that the baby's around for. Did you calm it down? Okay, great. So, in that case, Ziggy, you can come and serve breakfast. And you know what? I'm going to save just before you do, because I don't trust you with the stove. All right. Courtney's sleeping. Ziggy's going to make breakfast. I'll watch the baby. Dream team. Okay, the baby's still asleep. Maybe enough time to have a cheeky bath. Maybe enough time to have a sneaky little dump. Will the baby stay asleep for just a super quick one? You're going to have to pinch this one out really fast, Ziggy, because this baby's going to wake any minute now. Okay, Zig, come and watch some TV, and then that way all of your needs are good except bedtime. And then Courtney, you can wake up now, and then go and get some food. And then once we get your needs fulfilled, maybe you can watch the baby while Ziggy gets some sleep. All right, Ziggy, you could probably manage a couple of hours in bed. I mean, like I say, I'm pretty sure this baby's going to wake up any minute now. Yep, there she goes. But Courtney can take care of it so that Iggy can get a little bit more sleep. This is going to work out just fine. It'll be fine. I was going to try and use the time that they had a baby for Courtney to try and rebuild her friendships. Um, but I'm starting to think perhaps that might not be possible. Courtney's going to take the day off work today because she went to work yesterday. So she can help around a little bit more. The trouble is the baby's kind of used to Ziggy now. So she doesn't really sleep for Courtney. Okay, she's, she's asleep. Great. So, Courtney, that gives you enough time to take a bath, take a dump, and then maybe use the synthesizer. And then that should take care of quite a few of your needs. Ziggy, he's doing pretty well for his sleep. I'll just let him sleep until the baby wakes up again. And then he should be good to take over. Okay, sweet. Ziggy's sleep bar is pretty full. Is that food still good? No, it's gross now. Okay. Well, Ziggy, you can serve lunch then. Courtney seems to be doing okay. She's probably going to want to have a little sleep after all this. But, I mean, this is working out just fine. Oh, there's Mortimer Goth. Okay, well, there's one relationship you can work on there, Courtney. Oh, guess not. He's walking away. Okay, fine. Okay. Courtney's mood is kind of okay. I mean, she could do with getting some sleep. I mean, Ziggy, I feel like what I might do with you is I might try and get you to call your little buddies Peter and Rod. Oh, I wonder if that's Peter as in, like, our Peter. I think that might supposed to be the same Peter that is, like, married to Patricia. Okay, I guess we won't. The baby's woken up. Well, this is, what, day two of having a baby? So maybe she will age into a child tomorrow. Okay, how's Courtney doing? She's kind of slept a fair bit. So perhaps now we'll see if we can go to Club Rub and at least work on our relationship with Mona and Bing. Why won't it let me go anywhere? Why can't I visit anyone? What's the problem? Can I not visit anyone because I have a baby? Is that the reason? Okay, fine. Well, then I will call Bing and Mona instead. Bullshit, man. I'm fully expecting to do some serious relationship building. I know that I really have not been around much at all. I've lost count of how many sim days I've spent wooing Ziggy, getting him to marry me, having this baby. It's a lot, and I appreciate that. Okay, well, Mona appreciated the chat. Bing didn't. Um, Ziggy, you should probably get some sleep. Courtney, you can, I don't know, take a shit or something. And then... While Ziggy gets some sleep, Courtney can be on baby duty. I wonder if we can get away with sending them both to bed at the same time. If I just keep a real close eye on the baby. Oh, baby's awake. Come on, Courtney, you're on the baby duty. How's Ziggy doing for sleep? Courtney, let's go. Their fun drops pretty rapidly when, the ba when they're handling the baby. Bit harsh, really, isn't it? Oh, isn't Peter good? He woke up and he's already making breakfast. He better be serving breakfast and not just making it. What a prick. He just made it for himself. Okay, Courtney, well, I guess you're serving your own food. Okay, Ziggy, and then you can take a bath. 
Okay, and then Courtney, you can have something to eat. You are going to be going to work pretty tired today. But you know what? When you get home, you can sleep the whole time. You deserve it. In fact, why don't you just go and get a couple of hours of kip now? This baby must be aging up soon. It's like three days old now. Any time now. Okay, Courtney's bus for work is going to turn up anytime soon. So Ziggy, I'm going to get you to call up one of your little buddies. I just have a bit of a catch up, man. See if we can keep those two friendships you have. Because when Courtney's built all her relationships back, she'll have eight friendships. So I could really do with your relationship with Peter and Rod to be good to get this next promotion. Shall we invite Rod? Mm, no, we'll just talk to him. We're not ready to be full into this friendship yet. Not until, not until Violet's a child anyway, which should be soon. Okay, Courtney, you're going to have to get up now because your bus for work is going to be here soon. There it is. Have a great day at work, Courtney. Okay, Ziggy, while the baby is still kind of quiet, why don't you also call Peter? We'll have a little chat to him. And then we'll see if there are any bills that need to be paid. Courtney, you better get on that bus. Okay, I don't think we've got any bills, which is good. Courtney, seriously, hurry up before that bus leaves without you. Just in the nick of time. Oh, baby's awake. I wonder if this baby will age up with a full face of makeup, like Patricia's did. So I'm thinking when this baby gets to sleep, I'm going to send Ziggy to bed again. Or maybe we'll call one of his friends again to improve his social need and then we'll send him to bed. Oh, baby's still crying? What? I did all the baby things. You've been fed and rocked and sung to? Okay, baby's sleeping. So let's just try and whiz through these needs. So we'll start by calling Peter. Have a chat with him. Yes, your nurturing and love has helped develop Violet from a baby to a child. And I completed a goal. Oh, sweet success. What a nice car. So this is Violet then. Hello, Violet. How's she doing at school? She's a B. Okay. So what about if I get her to like read, get her to study for school or something? Can I do that? Yes. Study for school. Let's check our goals. So we've got the final promotion, which we can kind of work on a bit more now that we don't have a baby to worry about. Because we've got all of the skills, we just need the friendships. And we need to send our child to prep school with straight A's. Okay, and then we can worry about the other, other careers. Fine, fine, brilliant. Oh, I'm happy about that. Okay, we will just talk to Peter and then Ziggy can serve dinner and then get some sleep. And then I guess Violet can just study for school, I guess. Violet is no longer a family friend. What the fuck are you talking about? Does Violet count as a family friend? Really? Okay, Courtney's home. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end this episode here. I'm pretty happy with the progress I made. Violet just went up one grade point. So she's now an A student. No, B+, plus, my mistake. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how well we've done. And I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.